Feeling real good this morning. <clears throat> My throat's a little scratchy for some reason. Have myself a Cliff Bar and an epic salmon jerky. The sun is rising. We got out of camp at 7 o'clock a.m. A little bit of th thunderstorms hit us last night, but nothing too crazy, not a lot of rain. It's gonna be a good one, I can feel it. Look at the way the clouds just settled. I mean, they're starting to dissipate, but like cool air and the moisture, they're just in the fog down there in the valley. Okay. Here I am back on the trail. Brushing Mountain Outpost was a success. Hello, I can't speak. Brushing Mountain Outpost was a success. Definitely recommend it. It's a bit of a hole in the wall kind of place, but they do have good food with decent prices. Had myself a veggie burger that was loaded with, you know, ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions on a nice bun and I uh, slapped two sunny side up eggs on there as well a bit of a breakfast veggie burger action with fries and it was mighty delicious and perfectly satiating what do you guys think of this beanie I like it less as far as aesthetics go, compared to the other beanie that I was wearing. Uh, it makes my head look weird, I think, but I like the thin, cooling nature of this one. At last, the shelter grounds. Oh, quite a lot of seats around here for gathering. That's cool. I don't know why they call this Helby's Mill. I imagine there used to be a lumber mill around here. Maybe. Oh, the privies up there. I'm gonna go there first. Show you all what that looks like. Be out here in the woods, there are just these moldering privies. It's just a hole in the ground. And, uh, toilet and you sit and do your thing and then you add wood chips and it decomposes naturally so this is actually quite a nice one there it is the privy check it out 600 miles down putting that behind me 600 miles in 44 days so I'm gonna be going like another 15 miles so I'm doing about that's about 14 miles a day average I just came so close to stepping on a snake look at this I don't know what kind of snake that is but it's very pretty Anybody know? Doesn't look venomous, but I have no idea. <sighs> well, just a little update. Hiking. Uh, 
that road crossing down there, I saw a comment on Far Out from last year about a lady that leaves rotten meat there on the trail for bears. I remember that. And uh, I didn't think of it again until I got to the trail, crossed the road, there's a big old pile of bread on the trail, on the ground, for animals to eat. I don't know, people are just ignorant out here, but if you're watching this and you don't understand it, first of all, the meaning of ignorant is not like an insult, it's like, it just means that you just don't know any better. So I'm assuming they just don't know any better, but the reason you don't do that, folks, is because that makes bears associate human smells with food, calories. And then when you have bears that associate humans with calories, that's when you get bear problems, which not only is dangerous for humans, it leads to the bears getting killed, guys. So you might think you're helping them out by feeding them, but you're pretty much guaranteeing that they're gonna get killed because they're gonna start to come to humans for food. So don't do that. Don't leave food for bears. Don't feed bears. It's called habituating them. You're giving them a bad habit and it's gonna get them killed. So don't do that. <laughs> uh, no reason to ever do that. Bears can forage on their own. Um, on another note, thundering and lightning just over there and it's starting to rain right now it's supposed to rain well, it was like 20 percent chance of rain and it is raining so that's fine i'm already sweaty anyways okay guys change of plans go figure i uh <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at me uh, but I don't care. <laughs> um, it's still going to be a 21 mile day, but for a 20 mile day, little, maybe I'll, I'll tell you exactly the mileage when I get there. But, uh, there's a place called weary feet. It's three miles from here. And, uh, it's $10 a night to tent camp there, which is incredibly cheap. And you know what? It's like getting dark early. Uh, I don't have any real excuse. The main reason I want to stay there is because my stuff is dying. My batteries. I charged a little bit at the um, store this morning. But you know what? I, I don't know why. But um, I feel like almost guilty. Like I'm going to be judged staying at the hostel or tent camping at the hostel it's like right on trail y'all and it's uh one of like the three famous hostels in this area that people talk about um, the other thing is it's right next to trent's grocery which is like a deli with a bunch of really good food oh oh there was just a, a coyote it's long gone but dude I don't know, you could probably hear that uh, running through the woods there. There was literally a coyote right in the trees there. It was like whitish brown canid. I mean, maybe it was a dog, I don't know. Looked pretty coyote-like to me. I was running down the trail about a mile and a half and I came across this section here and it stopped me in my tracks. Not only the, the visual beauty of the trail amidst the flowers there, all these wildflowers, 
but also the smell. The smell of, it smells like sweet nectar. You just look at all the, all the green, all these different kinds of flowers and the grasses and the trees are even flowering. There's dogwood and just all kinds of beauty. And just, I'm just, I'm in awe. So close to the road. And it's just so different down here. It's dry as a bone and pine needly up where I was. And just down a thousand feet below. Absolutely gorgeous and stimulating to all of the senses. It's humid. It's fragrant. The sounds are different. I hear crickets and amphibians croaking and birds singing. I hear cars. It's all there. It's all here. Just got off the phone with Julie from Weary Feet as well and she seems like a really nice lady. She's gonna make me a bunch of scrambled eggs for breakfast. <laughs> I'm going to the deli and then heading over there. So, I'm a happy hiker now. <laughs> well, I, I've been happy, but I'm extra happy now. So. I literally just put the camera away and then, uh, this looks like, I'm pretty sure this is, this is elderberry. Yeah, this is an elderberry tree here. Just right on the side of the trail. So that's pretty neat. Her, some people call it elder flower when it's like that. Whoa, this is kind of freaky. It's swinging suspension bridge over this big old river. I'm a hostile hopper. <laughs> you know, it was a 21 mile day actually, I realized. So, still big miles, my feet are hurting. I'm not even gonna bother doing laundry or showering. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm feeling good, feeling alright, I'm really tired, so I'm going to wrap this up, go to bed, sleep, and then go swim, hopefully tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's not too cold at Dismal Falls. The owner of this, or one of the workers at this place told me that people usually don't swim this time of year, so, eh, that's, that's not a good look, <laughs> but I want to swim, hopefully it's not that cold, we'll see, but anyways. Good night, everybody, or good morning, or good day. I don't know what time of day it is you're watching this again. Um, but thanks for watching today's video. It was a good day. It was a long day. We saw thunderstorms, little drizzles. We saw power lines. We saw burgers for breakfast at Bushy Mountain, Brushy Mountain. Uh, I went to that store, Trent, Trent Market. I didn't take a video there because my camera was full up. And I've since made more space. That's how I'm recording. Went over suspension bridge, thought my phone broke, fixed it. <laughs> Hiked a lot of miles and bouncing all around right now because I'm tired, but it was overall a really good day. Um, happy to have done as many miles as I did. Hiked solo a lot. Felt good. Mr. Happy got ahead of me. He's camping at Dismal Falls tonight. So it's just a couple miles past here. Much love, everybody. Peace out for now.